If you're just entering the field of motorcycle mechanics, you're gonna realize real quick just how much of a big investment tools are. I did wanna show you the tools that I think are pretty valuable to have when you're first entering the field, so you don't just go out there and buy everything and anything and realize some things can be bought later down the road. Now, if you do have the financial means to go ahead and just buy the whole entire tool store, you know, you do you, but we're gonna start off simple. I do have another video where I go through all the drawers in my toolbox. We're not going to do that today. I'm just going to show you the bare necessities that I think are pretty essential for the job. I am going to film this more in the style that I did film my toolbox tour where I'll be holding the camera and I'll just be opening certain drawers and pinpointing the tools I believe are pretty important to have. I'm going to start off with a multimeter. Mine is definitely not a fancy one. And as you can see, it has been through everything and anything. It was my dad's that got handed down to me. I've seen a lot of techs who enter the field buy a really fancy one right off the back. I do not believe that's necessary. You could just buy a simple one that gets the job done. And you know, for even basic electronic diagnosis, it's a good thing to have. Of course, granted, as time moves on, you will be you know, getting more difficult jobs and you'll be using it more frequently. But I do believe this is one of those things you need to have off the back. Now wrenches is another one. Not all my wrenches are ratcheted. Um, I do wish they all were, <laughs> but I never got around to buying ratcheted wrenches, but in the future I will. It is not necessary, but it does make the job easier. I was mainly Harley, so I do have more standard tools than metric, but depending on if you're going into metric bikes or domestic bikes, um, you would figure out from there if you need to buy both or just one kind, but I definitely would recommend you having at least not necessarily ratcheted, but just standard regular wrenches. And I would recommend all the way to uh, like an inch and a half. So I have up to an inch in here, but my bigger ones are lower, but there was a few times where I needed it a little bit bigger, but worst case scenario, get it up to an inch. And if anything, you will borrow for someone. And as the rule goes, you borrow it more than three times. You need to buy it for yourself. Now this drawer is a mess, but uh, I do believe some things in here are essential. So excuse the, the mess in here. I, I probably should have organized this before filming, but I'm not ill prepared today. But do get your standard flatheads and Phillips screwdrivers. I would recommend having some snips, just kind of your more basic tools, whether it's like pliers and a breaker bar definitely a breaker bar mine is from harbor freights and it has done me well there was only a few times that i had to borrow someone's bigger breaker bar but i would definitely recommend at least just getting the basics between pliers vice grips snips screwdrivers get like a small one and a big one same with flatheads and so on and then as time goes on you'll kind of buy more specific things that you need. But I do believe this is something that's good to have straight off the get-go. Now, this drawer is also a mess, but it is my sockets. I would highly recommend going ahead buying sockets up to an inch in size, depending if you're metric or not. I have both, but mainly standards. This is mainly standards, and because I am ill-organized, most of my metrics, because I rarely use them, are kind of shoved to the side. But I do recommend some extensions, either if it's just one. I have many that I've collected over the years. I did get torts bits. Um, with time, I did buy a better set, but the Harbor Freight ones off the back were, you know, pretty nice to have. Harbor Freight also does replacements, and I definitely recommend Allen sockets. These are also a cheaper set from Harbor Freight. As you can see, this one is already not even in there, but the way I use it, that was not really all that bad. You don't want to be spending all that money up front, so I would personally just recommend, you know, getting the lower end ones so you don't really hurt your pockets right away. And with time, you'll just buy better ones um, that break less often and have better quality and can handle more strength. I do have all the torts bits that goes all the way to the smaller size, and I definitely would recommend that. The smallest size I have is T10, and rarely did I need something even smaller than that. Now, I don't know if this is the actual name of them. I call them C-clip pliers. Now, I do have Snap-on. I don't recommend you right off the bat doing that. I started off with Harbor Freight ones, but with time and then them being on sale, I got these. But at least having one or two, you know, various sizes on the tips on the end of them 
Uh, this difference between the lower brand ones and the snap-on snap -on ones, the tips don't break as easily. And to me, that, you know, with time, that was just a little bit more valuable. But I do recommend you having at least one or two pairs. Now, out of this drawer, I definitely recommend a low-profile socket or just something low-profile. This was such a lifesaver for me from so many times. I highly recommend it. And again, there are off-brand ones from Harper Freight or Craftsman, but I highly recommend getting a low-profile wrench and socket set. It will be a lifesaver because I had borrowed it a few times from a coworker and I realized, you know, I might as well buy one for myself. So we'll put that back. And now it's hammer time. <laughs> So you don't need as many as I have, but I do recommend at least one, you know, soft mallet, just so when you do need to do a little bit of beading, you have the tool for it. In my other video, I do go over certain specific tools that I thought were lifesavers, but because this video is for more entry level techs, I will not go into tools like as my impact hammer, for example. So we'll continue on. Oh, and obviously, this hammer is for the really big, important jobs, if you didn't notice. I don't recommend you having to buy air tools off the back. Just as you go, you'll see which ones you need. But I do recommend an air hose, if anything. This will be really handy for you and I, I highly recommend it. So some sort of air hose for an air chuck in your shop. That would probably, I would suggest, to be the first air tool you have. But as you go further into your career, then you'll get more specialty air tools. And now ratchets. My ratchets. I personally love the Harbor Freight ones, so I never really upgraded one them. But I do recommend just getting, you know, three in different sizes, or at least even two, and starting off with that. With time, you know, like I got some like mini breaker bars. But, and picks. Picks, I got these for like a dollar at, there's like four set at Harbor Freight. They also came in handy. But yeah, definitely need your ratchets. Off the back, I'm not gonna give any recommendations for electrical tools. Um, in my other video, I go into depth about the tools I like for electrical jobs. Uh, but since this is entry level, we're not really doing that right now. And that could probably be held off for a few paychecks. So I do want to add one more thing. I have it in my box right now. Don't have to buy the big brand one. The, the you know, Harbor Freight ones work just this fine. But I do recommend a vacuum brake bleeder because that is an entry level job. And having your own is definitely a peace of mind. I personally really like this one because that's the one my Master Tech used. I've never had any issues with it and it's pretty simple and easy to work with. If not right away, within your first few paychecks because that is an entry level job and having to borrow someone's is going to get rather annoying after a while. So I think that's everything for entry level tools that I would suggest if you're entering the field. Oh, and stickers. I definitely recommend you putting having stickers, because <laughs> everyone knows the more stickers you have, the more cool points you get. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you got some information out of it that was valuable to you if you're a new tech who's just entering the field. If you have any questions that I didn't answer or that came up into mind, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer them the best way I can, or other viewers uh, who have an input that they can add will also answer them, because I do see that sometimes, you know, little conversations form in the comment section of mine. And it's a nice little community we're building here. And we're just all here to help each other. And, you know, we're, on one, we're all on one team. So with all that said, I hope you all have a great day. Y'all stay safe out there. But most of all, don't forget to love and care for those around you. For those who watched after the outro, I did want to add one more thing real quick. I really appreciate the support y'all give to my channel, the, the supportive words of encouragement that y'all leave under my comments in the videos. It really means a lot and it has a really big effect on just my soul and all the ushy gushy mushy stuff, you know? So I just, I just really wanted to show, express my gratitude and just to let y'all know that it means much more than you could ever imagine and it just 
you know, it encourages me to keep making these videos. And I just, I really appreciate, I just appreciate this little community we got going on here. So I just had to say that. And yeah, just thank you so much for all your support, whether it's from just liking and liking and commenting on the videos or the people who go, you know, the extra mile and, you know, donate into the links I have in the, in the um, description, or even just, you know, even the silent watchers, like I see the percentage of subscribers that watch my videos and, you know, with time it's always growing. And even, even just that it's, it's really, it's a very heartwarming feeling and just wanted to say thank you, but that's all. I'll let y'all go to watch the next video and whatnot, but yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all are awesome.